Thomas Schütte has, was born in 1954 in Oldenburg. It's a um, city in North Germany. And he went to the Kunstakademie in Düsseldorf in the 70s from 1973 till 1981. At that time, the Düsseldorf and um, Cologne were the absolutely art center for artists and arts in Europe. And with the gallery of Konrad Fischer, the famous galleries who showed also for example, Bruce Nauman in the 70s or Sol Lewitt. Um, it was also a center for American avant-garde. And for young artists, it was just the best place to be. Um, the most important um, teacher of professor for Schütte was Gerhard Richter, um, who, with whom he is, um, whom he knows until today. He was very important for him because he um, told his students that they don't have to follow a specific style or direction, but that the most important thing is firstly to be really sure that you want to be an artist, otherwise you should give up, or, and secondly, um, that um, it is important to find your own way and not a style. So this was a certain um, freedom the students had, not easy, but um, op an open um, way. And um, for Schütte, apparently the right way to go on. He was um, first more known by um, his more conceptual work. He did and does until today um, models, architectural models, which at that time have never been realized or built, which, which means built, but today sometimes they um, find a place to be realized. And only later in um, only later, people find out, saw, discovered that Thomas Schütte is also a figurative sculptor. It was in 1992 during the Documenta in Kassel that he showed a work, um, a figurative work, which um, got a huge huge attention. It was the Die Fremden, which means the strangers or the foreigners. Um, they were um, tall um, ceramic figures um, standing on the roof of the main, um, besides the main building, and they had with them some luggage, bags, and they stood there. They were colorful ceramic ceramics with very quiet faces. They just, just stood there and one didn't know, um, did they just arrive? Where will they go? Do, uh, will they stay? And um, suddenly everybody knew, ah, shoot it as figurative sculpture. So this exhibition is um, focused on this part, this body of his work, which is the, uh, of course, the, the uh, main, main, um, his main oeuvre. Um, it is, it, the exhibition has been done closely together with the artist, the selection, the installation, the book, uh, which contains many interesting, humorous, funny, um, serious interviews. Um, the exhibition is not, doesn't follow a chronology, doesn't have a fixed start, end, beginning and a clear end, but each um, gallery is an installation by itself. It 
which and has its own narrative and tells its own story. That's a very beautiful thing because you can walk wherever you like. You are in your own um, small or large story. Um, why Thomas Schütte at Fondation Bailo? There are Im important relations or links between his work and Fondation, especially with the I'm talking about the collection of the Fondation Bayler, where the figure and the portrait um, is a very um, important theme. There are main works by Cezanne, uh, Matisse, Picasso, Giacometti, Bacon, focused on the human figure. And as we know, in the 20th century, um, the, the representation of human figure, um, which has such a long tradition, has been interrupt, interrupted several times. And Thomas Schütte is one of the um, very few contemporary artists who started in the 70s against all the main um, directions to make figurative um, sculpture. So this relation to Fondation Baylor is, is there and it shows now in the, um, um, as the exhibition is installed how beautifully it fits into this building. A speciality of the exhibition is that it is not only inside but that there are very important sculpture shown, uh, sculptures shown outside on the roof, part of the foreigners, of the Fremden, um, or on the pond in the back of the um, museum, the Hase, which is a hare with, which um, functions like a fountain. It is fascinating how Schütte works with different, very different materials in very different techniques and how he is, um, he loves to make experiments with techniques and materials. For example, in the first room, in the first gallery, you have an ensemble of uh, women heads, very beautiful heads, quiet faces, um, and they are made of bronze, for example, but you can see the same head also in, as an aluminum cast, um, painted with a, a red golden lacquer, then there is a lying head made in se white ceramic, or there are four heads um, made out of thick glass, um, in, um, made it, produced in Murano near Venice, the traditional glass um, city. And what is interesting, it isn't so much about materials, but it is about colors and um, surfaces, soft surfaces, hard, cold surfaces. It is incredible what, what um, the artist achieves with these um, um, instruments. Unexpected, probably, is what the uh, um, fantastic, um, what fantastic drawings and gouaches um, Thomas Schütte is making. We have included in this show over a hundred, over a hundred um, watercolors and Schütte hung them in different places and um, they are as you, as you will, as you can see, they are 
um, very um, common subjects, flowers for example, Schütte says he doesn't understand why people don't um, make more drawings or paintings of flowers because there is nothing more beautiful to look closely and for a long time at a, at a flower. Or there are um, portrait faces or real portraits which he says is uh, almost impossible to do real portraits because you can only catch a moment of a personality with a couple of lines or colors.